Smelloscopes, Sex Robots, and Choose Your Own Adventure movies. Futurama has made a lot of big predictions about the future, and some of them have already come true. Futurama is hardly the first piece of fantasy or sci-fi that included a zany, wrist-mounted device, but it does boast one of the most over-the-top and bizarrely realistic takes on the trope. Leela's wrist-mounted widget, which she once called the Wrist Lojackimator, was used as a two-way radio, a screen for Pong and Tetris, a scanner, and a surgery laser. It was also used for video calls and whatever else the writers need it for at any given moment. Hmm, this thing I wear on my wrist says they're not poisonous. <laughs> Modern wrist-mounted devices became more common after the inception of Futurama, with Apple, Samsung, and others inventing their own smartwatches that connect to your cellular phone and deliver text, health information, and news headlines. Modern smartwatch devices don't quite do everything that Leela's wrist lojackimator might do, no surgery lasers yet, but they're still pretty darn futuristic in their own right. The Smelloscope! <laughs> Located in the tower of the Planet Express building is one of Professor Farnsworth's most wacky inventions, the Smelloscope. In the future of Futurama, it is revealed that each heavenly body has its own unique aroma, and Farnsworth has found a way to detect said smells from light years away. And while one can't breathe in space particles to actually get a whiff of the cosmos, some scientists have theorized what space might smell like, judging by the many particles in the eternal vacuum. How the smelloscope actually works is never explained in Futurama, but the operations of a field olfactometer, called the nasal ranger, are ready to be studied for the curious. Olfactometers have a variety of uses, including sniffing out gas leaks or detecting sewer damage. The funnel-shaped device is fitted over the nose, and one can take a deep breath in to sniff something far away that has been enhanced by the meter's chemical workings. To date, olfactometers are not used for spatial detection, but surely that is mere steps away. When Futurama's main character Fry sees his first 31st century movie, he is surprised to learn that the movie stops every few minutes to conduct an audience poll as to where the story should go next. The disembodied voice leading the polls is played by Russ Leatherman, the once ubiquitous voice behind the call-in movie time service Movie Phone. If you want Calculon to race to the laser gun battle in his hover Ferrari, press 1. If you want Calculon to double check his paperwork, press 2. Interactive movies have become increasingly common over the years, and many modern video games have come to resemble films with minor control elements throughout. In 2018, Echo published an interactive sequel to the 1983 computer thriller War Games, called simply Hashtag War Games, wherein a viewer could choose which screen to watch of a cluster of conversing characters. The narrative would change depending on which one you were watching. Something similar was done on the short-lived streaming service Quibi in 2020 with their film Wireless, which let viewers watch an actor in a car or what was on the character's phone, depending on how the viewer oriented their phone screen. There was also the Netflix film Black Mirror Bandersnatch, the feature-length Black Mirror episode which polled viewers as to which path they wanted the story to take. This approach was also tried by Netflix's Captain Underpants series as well as other kid-friendly shows. It is often looked down upon for humans to date robots in Futurama, as having a programmable sex celebrity at your beck and call 24 hours a day would be so alluring as to cease human progress entirely. Regardless, Fry finds a way to create a robot girlfriend, modeled after actress Lucy Liu, who plays herself, disgusting his co-workers. Fry eventually has to break up with his Lucy Liu bot when he learns that celebrity robot clones are made by torturously shocking the preserved, still-living heads of the actual celebrity. The episode climaxes with an army of Lucy Liu robots engaged in battle. While sex dolls are nothing new, Real Doll has been in business since 1996, functioning robotic sexual partners are closer to being a reality all the time. A company called Realbotics has already developed a customizable robot bust with a realistic face and speech based on yourself. Famously, comedian Whitney Cummings had one made of herself and incorporated it into a bit of hers. It's only a matter of time before Real Doll and Realbotics are working together to make a fully customizable companion. In the universe of Futurama, suicide booths are located on every corner. The implication is that modern life has become so intolerable that euthanasia became a coin-operated industry. The show's suicide booths were often played for quick bursts of gallows humor, a cynical, running gag left over from grimmer 90s sensibilities. Over the years, fans of Futurama would note that the writers began employing them less and less, although they do still pop up from time to time. 
Let's get this show on the road. Oh, no. You're going to die, all right, but it won't be suicide. It'll be murder. However, the writers were recently validated. In December of 2021, a sleek, specialized euthanasia pod has been invented in Switzerland. The pod is an airtight chamber wherein the user would be sealed in and their air supply would be replaced by nitrogen until suffocation occurs. It's worth noting that euthanasia is legal in Switzerland, only one of seven countries worldwide that expressly allow the practice. It is also legal in eight of the United States. There are no coin-op euthanasia machines on street corners, but for better or for worse, something that was started as a grim Futurama gag has now made its way to reality. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Film videos about your favorite sci-fi movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.